Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to show you real quick how I'm going to clean this algae off of these strawberry plants. It's going to be super easy. I'm just going to put on some gloves just to make sure things are nice and clean and sterile. I don't want to be infecting these plants with just in case if I have anything or any germs or bacteria that I don't know about. Onto the roots, since I'm really going to be dealing with the plant roots over here. So... These are some beautiful, ever-bearing strawberries that are growing. Here's an example of one that I just already washed. Look at how beautiful and clean these white roots are. This was super quick and easy to do, and look nice and healthy. This is just plain water. I'm going to be changing that out with hydroponic fertilizer as soon as I'm done after this, once I clean out all these jars. So let's just go about it together. This way you guys know how to do it. And all you got to do is just take one of these jars I'll pull that out you can see these roots beautiful looking roots although it does have some algae on it that's all right you can see it's a little bit a little bit green we're gonna wash that right off and we're just gonna run some water you want to kind of feel for the water you don't want it to be too cold or too hot you don't want to shock the roots something a little bit like probably warm would be perfect Just wash that right off, nice and slow, you don't want to press on it, just kind of slightly rinse these roots while, while, gent while holding them also. You want to be gentle, you don't want to rip these roots, you don't want to shock the plant, and stop it from growing. And as you see I'm washing it, they're beginning to wash right off, all the algae is coming off, and it's looking beautiful, healthy, look at this. Tell me this is not some of the most beautiful roots you've ever seen. As you go up, you could already see the algae, the difference between bef before up here and after. So quite a big difference. So we're going to wash everything off here. You want, I'm not going to wash the, 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 what's it called? The clay pebbles, there's no point in that. There's no need. So we're just going to wash that off, give that a good, good rinse. And again, you want to be nice and gentle. And I'm sorry if I sound a little bit stuffy, I'm de um, dealing with a cold that's passing through. So, should be done with that. And look at that beautiful flower, we're going to have some strawberries coming out soon. So there we have it, let's look at that up close. Beautiful looking plant. All that's left is to take a jar with some clean water. And let's drop that right in. Now after washing these jars, I'm noticing that the root system is looking a little bit cramped in there. So what I may do is actually increase these jars. These are quart size jars. I'll probably be going up to a half, uh, most likely like a half gallon. And we'll see how that goes. Hopefully the plants love it. Now I just want to quickly show you before we go. Just look at the before shot. Look at this. Algae filled water. Actually not even water. This is hydroponic fertilizer. Now the problem with algae, it's not that it's going to be, it's damaging the plant itself. What it's doing is it's taking in all the hydroponic fertilizer and the nutrients for itself. It's starting to absorb all of it. And that's how it's spreading and growing so quickly. So instead of your plant taking, instead of your plant roots taking up the nutrients as it take as it needs, the algae seems to be battling it. So, excuse me for the fumbling. Like I said, I'm a little bit sick. But before we go, look at this beautiful strawberry that's going to be growing really soon. I can't wait. As always, I'm going to finish these jars. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you liked the episode. We're going to be back for more soon. Thanks for watching. And how, real quick, before we go, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to take these jars, I'm just basically washing it with just a little soap and water. 
and wiping it out and then filling it back up. So that's all we're going to do. You want to make sure you don't get any soap on the, the roots. That's going to damage the roots. So keep the soap away from there. Keep everything nice and clean. We'll be back soon for more. Thanks for watching.